Boston is and what they stand for, and I wanted to be a part of it. Sports Illustrated taking a historic photo showcasing the people of Boston at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. We want to show the resiliency of Boston, Boston strong, Boston pride, and how everybody can come together and uh, in the city and just highlight that moment and that energy. The finish line no longer representing the fear or terror the day of the bombing. We were on top of the game last year when this all happened, and uh, it's just a, you know, a nice way to maybe come on just, just remember what happened, that's all. I was nervous this year about what we're going to do and how we're going to do it, and now it's just excitement. I just can't wait for next week. In the front row, emergency responders. Uh, it's very important for our members to be recognized. Sometimes we are operating in the background and taken for granted, so it's great that in the photo shoot we're going to be right up in the front line. Along with survivors and volunteers who help so many who are hurt by the blasts. We need to make as many happy memories as possible here. As far as, you know, coming back, it's, it's obviously nervous, but, you know, the I think the Couch Potato Sports guy and all of the men that are here, like, this is our only shot of ever getting on a sports list. <laughs> well, for them to see how the city of Boston and Denver is healing from all this tragedy and how we really are very strong together, you know, making this happen once again. Now, a photo finish like no other. A moment captured to show the world what Boston is all about. Just you know, a great time to show up Boston Pride and, and uh, just let people know that we're not going to be swayed. You know, this is, this is our city and we plan on uh, showing up every year. Early estimates say about 3,000 people came out for today's shoot. And if you weren't here, you know some of your friends that were, you can pick up that issue on Wednesday. That's the latest from the finish line. The call of Ariel. Seven News. As we get ready to mark one year since the marathon bombing,